You really aren't even bothering to hear my side. Go off, sis. Go off. What kind of mother are you? T. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to D. We are back with the next part of My Sister's Crush. Let me tell you, if you haven't seen the last one, please go watch that or read it on the app because our evil, disgusting sister is trying to ruin our poor girl's life by going to some party dressed up as her because they're twins. And so she's going to pretend to be her. And I don't know what she's planning to do with this party, but it's not going to be good. But she's going to make our poor girl look terrible and try to be this. I don't know what she thinks she is. Nobody likes her. Nobody likes Olivia. Why? Because you do stuff like this, Olivia. No one likes you. So we're going to see what happens. I hope our little boy Harley over there can see through her disguise and we can get past this. But I hope you guys are excited. Give it a big thumbs up if you are. Subscribe if you haven't already. Please go follow the amazing author Melissa. Her Instagram is linked in my description box down below. And without further ado, let's start the drama. Okay, so I think I might have seen the one with the reddish hair before, but who's the girl with the glasses? Not who you think. Not who you think. That's Catherine. No, it's not. She doesn't go to parties. Ever. The Catherine? Harley, no. You need to see through this. It ain't her. Suck me and all excited. It's not her. Oh my god. My brother has the hots for a nerd. <laughs> How freaking cute. Shut the hell up. So that's kind of crazy she's here, right? She doesn't strike me as the party type. That's not only the weird part. See the girl she's with? Her name is Rachel. She's Olivia's friend. That is weird. No! Who's Olivia? Her twin sister. Not to mention my ex. This is so weird seeing Catherine here. And what the hell is she doing with Rachel anyway? She's definitely different somehow. Maybe I should talk to her. So what's the verdict? Are you going to go over there and talk to your new boo? I hate you. I'll talk to her when I'm good and ready. No rush. In the meantime, maybe I'll talk to her. She looks like she might be a good tutor. Okay, Axel. Okay, fine. I'll talk to her. That's what I thought. If you're really doing this, let's get it over with. Would you stop rushing me? I have to mingle first in order for this to work. Oh, girl, I hate you. If you blow my cover tonight, you're next on my list. Olivia, who do you think you are? Like, who do you think you are? Now get out of my sight before I really lose my temper. When you're needed, you'll be notified. Oh, you picked a feisty one, bro. I thought she was going to make that girl cry. I have to admit, I didn't think she had it in her. I'm not so sure she does. Meaning, meaning something is seriously wrong with this picture. I know it's wrong. You do? Yeah, you're still standing here. Go over there and find out what's wrong yourself. God, you're pushy. Axel, honey, no, you need to sit here and we need to talk about what the tea is. That's not her. Smooth, bro. Harley, you need to get up there and I'll be back. He's right, though. She does seem a bit off tonight. I have to see this. This is the most interesting thing that's happened all night. What is... What is she gonna do? Girl. <laughs> Excuse me. But could you, like, get the hell out of my way? There are more important people than you here who are thirsty. There's no need to be rude about it. Catherine? What are you doing here? It's a party. Why do you think? Idiot. Who are you anyway? We've had classes together for, like, two years, Catherine. You must not be that memorable. Are you okay? Something about you seems different. How would you know that loser? Are we actually friends or something? Not exactly. Most people try to avoid you. No offense. Because I'm a huge loser. I know. No, it's not that at all. It's your sister. <laughs> what about my sister? My sister is the most gorgeous and popular girl in school. I'm sorry, Catherine. It's not fair. But most people don't want to be friends with you because of Olivia. She's just so mean all the time. My sister isn't the problem. I am. Me. Catherine Burke. It was nice seeing you and everything, Catherine. There's no- Okay, come back here. Someone needs to get me a drink. I'll get it for you. Harley, you look so hot tonight. Um, thanks. So I couldn't help but just hear your conversation just now. I was wondering if everything was okay. Beautiful, why do you ask? Because you just seem... different somehow. Why, Harley, you talk as if we don't know each other. Well, I suppose we don't. But you want that to change, am I right? Are you hitting on me? Would you like me to be? Well, I... 
Oh, Harley, I could never fall for a guy like you. Oh, why not? You're hot and everything, but you're not my type. Much more compatible with my sister. Your sister? Well, you don't have to say it like that. My sister is the most amazing woman that I know. Did he see through her disguise? That's hilarious. You're serious. Since when? Harley, use your brain. Since forever. I can only wish to be as cool as Olivia. Okay, yeah, something is definitely wrong with her. What's up with you tonight? Catherine. Maybe I just don't like you. Or maybe you're full of shit. Just because I think you're boring, something must be wrong. No, because you're not acting like yourself at all. In fact, it's interesting you kept mentioning your sister, considering you're talking exactly like her. Whatever you say, sweet face. Did she just call me sweet face? So there's, okay, so he's having the flashback. Yes. No, this can't be. Olivia. Why would she show up at a party pretending to be Catherine? Although it would certainly explain a lot of things in it. Yes, Harley, understand what's going on here. What game is she trying to pull? Okay, so since you're boring, I'm going to go mingle. Do me a favor, don't talk to me the rest of the night, okay? Call her out. Get up on the counter. No offense, bro, but you have horrible taste in women. I don't know what your thing is with that Catherine girl, but I don't like her. She's too mean even for me. I shouldn't tell you that what a bad sign that is. I don't think that was Catherine. I think that was Olivia. Her sister? That makes no sense. Why would she come to a party pretending to be her nerdy sister? Does it make sense to you because you haven't met them before? I've never seen Catherine that mean. It's not like you know her all that well, right? Axel, honey, you not. Maybe she's just a mean drunk. It's a much more logical explanation. No, sweet. Yeah, but if you would have met Olivia, she was literally acting exactly like her. Why would she act like someone she doesn't even like? Why would she come to a party with her sister's friend? Dude, how the hell should I know? I just don't see a motive. To embarrass her? I don't know. But Olivia is a mean and horrible person. To her own sister more than anyone else. Not to mention, she always seems to be getting Catherine in trouble. This is just some, like some kind of petty thing she would do. Well, I think you're being paranoid. Axel, honey, you are about to ruin this. But what do I know, right? Nothing. Exactly. No matter who she is. Um, bro, you really do care about me. Don't make this a chick flick moment or I'll punch you. Welcome back, bro. Okay, anyway, the cute boys moment was, but y'all need to do something about this girl. Are you all right, Liv? I mean, Catherine, you've been quiet since you came back. Are you having second thoughts about this? I don't want to talk about it. Okay, I saw the hottest guy. It figures it's when I'm dressed as this loser. But he was like totally rude to me. He implied that I had an attitude. Can you believe that? Why doesn't anyone just stand up to her she's like one person like no one likes her no matter though once i myself again he acts as hot i asked him girl <laughs> someone has lied to you your mom has lied to you so many times he's gonna want me for sure girl no one wants you that's nasty no one wants them cooties enough of this shit yeah enough of you girl please get off my screen i can't pretend to be this loser any longer it's showtime but are you absolutely sure once we do this, there will be no going back. How many times? Okay, shut up, Olivia. Tonight is the night I get rid of a very annoying, very painful thorn on my side. If you don't help me, I'll find someone who will. And then I'm coming after you next. Rachel, girl. Okay, girl, Rachel, I'm with you. This is what you have when you're weak. You just don't do that. What is... Oh my goodness, I'm so tired. What do I do about Catherine? Girl, you are an awful parent. I feel like I'm failing her... Yeah. Yeah. You are failing her. Maybe I'm being too hard on her. Girl, you're not listening to her. Maybe we'll just have to have a serious conversation with her when I get home. I hate fighting with my kids. Oh, uh, what does she do? How well do you know your daughter, Miss Burke? Who is this? How well do you know... For example, do you know where she is right now? I said, who is this? My children are home where they belong. Are they both of them? So who's this in this video then? What video? See for yourself. Oh my god. Um, I need some... She really did this. This is so petty. This is the most petty thing I've ever seen. 
Like, I am so embarrassed. Just, you didn't see what I didn't record. Have a great evening, Miss Burke. Girl, do you not? That's it. I've had enough. I've had enough of you. The fact you believe all this. I mean, that's funny than I thought it would be. Rec- did Harley not see this and be like, did no one at this party just, you know what I'm saying? Nobody. Make sure you get me house and her before my mom gets home because it's just about to get real. I think you went too far. I think you mean we, don't you? Your mom is going to be furious with your sister. Yeah, that's the whole point, moron. Why do you hate your sister so much? Why do you hate her? I don't know why you're acting all brand new all of a sudden. You're the one who sent the video. I realize that I played a part in this, and something tells me I'm going to regret it. Your sister didn't actually do anything, you know? She's a nerd and everything, but she's kind of, I don't know, sweet. Rachel, you are, you deep down, deep, 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 deep down underneath all your exterior are seemingly nice and kind of have a good head, but you need to, you need to stop this follower stuff like right now, but I have my reasons. I don't want her to die or anything. I just want her to screw off, go somewhere else, get out of my sights. Our whole childhood, we were the Burke twins. Do you know how hard it is to be cool when your twin is a nerdy freak? I've done everything I could to have my own identity, but she's always there, like a bug flying in my ear. My mom was always trying to push her on me like she's my problem. Enough is enough. She's been a burden far too long. So tonight we took care of it. Thanks, bestie. I can hardly wait to see my mom send her away. Life is going to be one huge party. This is... Thank God I got here before mom did. If mom got here first, it would have ruined the whole thing. This is so embarrassing. Yes, mom is home. Now to put these gross clothes back in my sister's room. Or what was her room? Ew, she's so gross. She's probably drooling. Ugh, why the hell is her like her? Because you're evil. I can't stand her. What are you doing going through my laundry, Olivia? Yeah, girl. I was looking for my Prada shoes. The red ones with the strappy things. Oh my god, you woke me up for that. I already told you we didn't take them, and why do you need them now anyway? I can't sleep. Knowing my beautiful designer shoes might be jumbled up in your ugly wardrobe. (laughs) Now that there right there is some BS. How stupid do you think I am? I mean, you once lost a designer jacket in a rundown diner, and you slept like the dead because, and I quote, if anything happens to that jacket, you'll personally ruin their entire establishment. There is less than 0% chance your concern for your shoes is keeping you awake. I just, you know what, I don't even care anymore. Just get out of my room so I can go back to sleep, please. If I was you, I'd plan on staying up. Why is that? Because mom will be home, and I have a feeling she'll be in a very bad mood. What did you do now? Catherine... Oh god, she sounds pissed. I'll go ahead and turn the light on for you, sis. This girl, Catherine, don't even act like you're sleeping. Get your ass down here. I'm so tired of this. You're seriously going to pretend you just woke up? I did just wake up. What the hell is wrong with you, Catherine? Just tell me what I did now so I can go back to bed. Don't take that tone with me. Mom, I love you, but I'm tired of being treated this way. It's draining every last bit of energy I have. Why do you think I've been sleeping so much lately? Because it's the only time I'm not being yelled at. You can play the victim all you want, Catherine. I have the video that says otherwise. What video? Mom, this isn't me. I've been home all night. I've never ever been to a party. That is clearly Olivia pretending to be me. Stop lying to me, girl. I can't stand you. Something in me snapped in this moment. Something in me changed. Shifted. I finally accepted that my mother was never going to believe me. Never be on my side. Oh, I feel so bad for Catherine, y'all. I was tired of trying to be nice about this. Oh my gosh. Like it was all just some sort of misunderstanding. Being nice had gotten me nowhere. My sister was just playing cruel. My mother was clueless. So I was then wasting my energy trying to play the good girl. Oh, Catherine's going through her change, y'all. Oh my gosh, I'm getting... Vince, your anger, sister. Mom, what the... 
You really aren't even bothering to hear my side. Go off, sis. Go off. What kind of mother are you? T. It's no wonder one of your daughters is turning out the way she is. Oh, but of course you won't believe it's her who is at fault. Of course you won't hear my side. After all these years of taking her side of mind, God forbid you might think twice at this point. Because that would require you actually stop and think about what might really be going on. Oh, don't roll your eyes. You wouldn't know the truth if it hit you in the face. And that's not my fault, Mom. Those are your demons, not mine. Okay, maybe I got a little carried away. I just feel so helpless. I know the feeling. Tell me what I can do to help you, to bring you back down to earth. Why don't you just tell me what you're gonna do? Who cares what I have to say, right? Excuse me? There is no excuse for this shit, Mom. You watch your language. Yeah, it's my language that's the issue here. Oh, Catherine, I'm getting my life, honey. So out with it. Out with what? Whatever you're planning to do to me, just do it. Just do it because I can't live this way anymore. I hate this family. Oh my gosh, it's late. We'll discuss this tomorrow when we've calmed down. I'd be lying if I said I didn't spend the rest of the night crying. I felt like I had lost something. Girl, maybe I never had in the first place. You didn't, and you're better off without them. Screw Olivia. Screw your mom. You were an independent icon, and you were going to stunt on them. Either way, my soul was tired. And to be quite honest, done with the drama. At this point, I had accepted my fate. Or so I thought. I guess I just didn't expect it to go as far as it did. Somewhere in me thought mom just needed to calm down and it would be fine. After all, she still loves me, right? Girl, I don't want to even say that at this point. Wishful thinking. Nobody loved me. Not really. Okay, so now we are... I sat on my bed in silence, wondering how it all came to this. I couldn't believe this was actually happening. Olivia had won. My mother dropped the and shortly after our fight in the kitchen, something she apparently had been thinking about but was using as a last resort. Apparently the time had come. I was being sent away to the Grand Valley Juvenile Camp for Troubled Teens. Despite the name, it wasn't some summer camp. From everything I learned from Google, it's basically a prison for teenagers. Your parent, your mom really did that. Trash. Trash parent. I'm sorry. She doesn't deserve to be called her parent. Catherine is such a good person. Not her mom. I guess I was scared because I was pretty sure it wasn't what they had in mind by troubled teen. But at this point, it didn't look like my mother was ever going to believe that. Nobody believes me. Nobody trusts me. Well, nobody but him. Harley, he believed me. He saw me. Well, he should have stu- stopped something at that party. I'm just going to leave it at that right now about Harley. Maybe if I talk to him, I think it'll be better. I can't leave without saying goodbye. Are you awake? Yeah, why? I have some big news to share. Bad news. Okay, so what's he gonna... Harley? Catherine, is everything okay? I'm worried about you. Yeah, I just got some bad news today. I've been lying awake trying to forget about it. You know I can't sleep either, and the sky is looking especially beautiful tonight. I want to head out under the stars and talk about whatever's on your mind. Stargazing with Harley? This is my last chance to be with him before I'm sent away. And I can't imagine a more perfect way to spend it. I'm good. Not tonight. To be quite honest with you, I'm a little, I'm a little pissed at Harley. Because he thought something was wrong at this party and then he's just not going to talk to her about it. Not going to, you know. I know it's not his issue, but, you know, I just... Where was Harley? Where was Harley? And once again, I know it's not his issue. And he did not have to step in if he didn't. But you just think he might have, like, given her a text? Like, just double checking. This is you, right? I don't know. I just... So you want to talk about it? It's nothing. I'll talk to you soon, all right? Okay. Talk to you soon. G- good night, Lola. We aren't going to be talking, Harley, because unfortunately we're being freaking sent away. And he believed in me that I could be strong, so I would, I will get through this. At this point, any place would be better than here. At least I'll be away from. Oh, sister, you know who. I just thought I'd come say goodbye before you leave. Uh, I didn't think you were actually stupid enough to do something like this, but I stand corrected. Oh, I don't think it was that stupid. Girl, why do you never record this? Girl, grab your phone and record something. I I got you the house tonight. Yes, you did. The question is, can you keep me out? 
What is that supposed to mean? It means for a long time I tried to show you respect, <gasps> even though you've shown me none in return. I've tried to be patient, even though you've gone out of your way to make my life miserable. Nothing. I've done nothing to you, yet you treat me worse than anyone else has ever treated me. What's your point? Assuming you have one, you better make it fast while you still can. You managed to get rid of me for now, but I won't be gone forever. I'm gonna come back, Olivia. Only when I do, I may not be so nice. You think I bug you now, just wait. Have you thought about what you'll do then? You don't scare me, loser Catherine. That, that is what makes you stupid. I'll be back, Olivia, so enjoy the peace and quiet while you can, because from here on out, I don't care about you hurting you anymore. Oh, Olivia. Get her. Catherine, let's go. Now. Oh, Olivia, you're gonna rue the day, and so are you, Linda. You're gonna- are we doing this? You're seriously not speaking to me the whole way there? It's funny. I've been dying to talk to you- dying for you to talk to me and not at me for a while now. You refused. Now finally you're listening, but I have nothing to say to you. You're just angry, Catherine. I'm way past angry. I'm done. I'm done trying to figure out how you're so dense you can't see who Olivia is. I'm done trying to figure out why you love her more than you love me. Catherine. Catherine nothing. You wanted to talk, so let's talk. Let's talk about the fact Olivia always goes out to parties. And you call it having fun with her friends. The one time you think I went to one, I'm sent away. Maybe you like to talk about why she's done nothing to earn your trust and she gets it. But you won't even give me a chance to explain my side. You're right, let's talk, Mom. I I'm trying to help sweethearts. Summer to start, you won't miss much school. You'll be back before you know it. What do you expect to happen when I'm back, Mom? One big happy family? Oh. I'll be back eventually, but let's make one thing clear. I will never forgive you for this. So one day when you realize what a bitch Olivia is, don't come crawling to me. Because I'm done. Ooh. Oh, that was the last time that trip she tried talking to me. Oh. Oh, get her. Meanwhile, all right, you're here. So get out. Am I losing the attitude? Consider how many times. Okay. Okay, but that's stupid. Why do I need to be here for this? Better yet, why are you here? Out of the way she talked to you, be done, bro. That was not Catherine last night. I know it was Olivia. So let's say that you're right. Who cares? Sounds like family business, Harley. You barely even know these girls. I just want to make sure she's okay. Okay, so Harley, okay. So the next day, he cares. He's here. Fine, but hurry up. I want to go back to bed. She's gone. I did it. Oh, Miss Olivia. Miss Olivia. Your life's going to be over soon. I can't wait. Mmm, I cannot wait to ruin your life, girl. Who is it? Harley. Oh my gosh. Come in, sweet. Oh. Well, hi there. Where's Catherine? Someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Are you hungover or something handsome? Just answer the question. Remind me what question you're referring to, sweet face. Where's Catherine? Catherine who? I'm surprised you want anything to do with her after the way she behaved last night. Cut the crap. I know that was you last night. Do you? Oh, Harley. You and your pathetic little crush on my loser sister. It's making you paranoid. It was you. And it was a horrible thing to do. Why would I even be seen in public dress as loser Catherine? To embarrass her, maybe? Which you obviously did. My sister doesn't need my help for that. She has a pretty good job on her own. Now, why don't you stop being cross with me and give me a- Ugh. For the last time, where is she? In her room? Oh, dear. What's so funny? Yeah, about Catherine. Bad news, I'm afraid. Oh. That was fast. So what's the verdict? Bro? Thinking you should have done something? Come on out with it. You know emotions make me break out in hives. That was supposed to be a joke. I mean, kind of. Not really, though. So seriously, what's wrong? Catherine's gone. Olivia wanted to get rid of her last night, and she did. I was too late to say goodbye, so let's just go home. What do you mean that she's gone, though? Define gone. I'll tell you later. Let's just go. You really like this Catherine girl, huh? It's not about that. Not completely. I just feel bad for her. If you only knew the way her sister treats her, she probably feels really lonely right now. The whole thing's just really sad. I get it. I mean, I don't. But caring about people is kind of your thing. Sorry, bro. I wish I was more like you. You never let shit get to you. Your right emotions suck. Oh, don't wish to be like me. Okay, so 
Now you still see, okay, we got, okay, so I'm assuming this is where Catherine is going to be locked in a freaking prison because of Olivia. I can't believe Linda really, mm. but our girl's going to come back and she's going to come back better than ever. Hello, welcome to Grand Valley. Can I help you? I really hope so. I'm here with one of my daughters. She's been well. We've been struggling. Name, please. Mine or hers. <laughs> well, I don't, sorry, her name is Catherine Burke. I'm just really nervous. Maybe because you know I don't belong here. I assure you that's perfectly normal. All parents are nervous, but I promise you she's in very capable hands with us here. Just let me look up her name on our system. This is crap. Catherine, stop it. We may not see each other for a while. I don't want us to end on bad terms. It's a little too late to be worrying about that, don't you think? Look at this place, Mom. This is a literal prison. This is the kind of place to hold real criminals until they're old enough to go to prison. Can you honestly look me in the eye and tell me I belong here? It's not as scary as it looks, sweetheart. How do you know? Liz's friend, Brittany's older brother. Apparently the one is for him. Olivia told you that, am I right? Why does that matter? Let me let you in on a little secret, Mom. Brittany doesn't exist. What? Honestly, Catherine, Olivia invented Brittany so she could hang out with boys without you interfering. Lying is kind of her thing. Don't believe me? When you get home, tell Olivia you want to speak to Brittany's mother. You'll see for yourself how flustered she gets. I found Catherine in our system. Miss Burke, if you'd like to just fill out some paperwork. Then our warden would like to speak with the both of you in his office. Did you hear that? Warden. I told you it was a prison. Please excuse my daughter's behavior. Don't apologize, Miss Burke. We have seen much, much worse. I no doubt you have. Now let's get you started on that paperwork. Heads up. This is when things begin to get really interesting. Okay, so that's the end. Well, I was into that, y'all. Olivia's little plan worked and she got poor Catherine sent away. It's a pretty much prison, but... Catherine, Catherine's coming back. She's coming back swinging. Linda is going to be in the garbage can and so is Olivia and I cannot wait for it. Let me know what you guys think about. This was a big chapter. Let's discuss in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Go follow the amazing author Melissa. Her Instagram is linked up in the description box down below. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and I can't wait to see the next one. But before we go the shout outs. A big special shout out to Mally Choi, Momina, and Kent Crossland. Thank you so much for your love and support. It means the absolute world to me. And if you want, some people asking how you get a shout out. If you want a shout out, be sure to be subscribed. Hit the like button and just comment anything down below and you could be chosen. But thank you so much for everyone for your love and support. And I can't wait to see the next one. Bye, everyone. I'm so, I'm so